I still have too many questions for this guy. Just look at this muscular guy. Wow, Jax! Where did you learn to dance so cool? Do you even see how this guy who is lying on the floor is spinning? He hangs out very strangely. Wait, did he actually go through the elevator? Seriously? To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Boom! Headshot! Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will play Scary Elevator again. This elevator is completely different from the ones we played before. Everything looks completely different here. Well, let's see what awaits us in this game. Oh my god, what's wrong with us? We are so huge! Wait, what is this corridor? Oh, this is Lil Pump and Kanye West! I remember this clip, this song has been popular for a very long time. Okay, the first floor was pretty weird. By the way, guys, do you know who the biggest fan of these performers among us is? Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen, and you pause this video and write in the comments who it could be. Well guys, you wrote your comment, and great! And now the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you were right. This is Zubal. Well, let's see what awaits us ahead. I hope that there will be quite interesting floors with interesting loot. Okay, here's the next floor. Wait, is that Obby? Wow. I'm wondering, will we be able to get through to the end? Let's try to pass this Obby on the first try. Well, the first attempt was unsuccessful, but I think this Obby is quite heavy. Everything here is very bright, and because of this, it is difficult to perform some jumps here. Come on, Jax, try better. We need to find out what's at the end of this obby. Maybe they will give us some rewards. By the way, have you noticed that we have some coins in the lower left corner? I wonder what these coins can buy. I'll have to check what's in the store for this game. Jax, why can't you pass this obby? You are a professional in passing such maps. Unfortunately, this time, we didn't succeed. Well, that's okay. We will definitely come back here next time and complete it to the end. And now, we will find out what awaits us on the next floor. I hope there will be something really interesting there. Okay, here's the next floor. There is some kind of additional door here, and there is an invisible wall through which we are not allowed. But why did that guy get in? It is very strange. Do you even see how this guy who is lying on the floor is spinning? He hangs out very strangely. Wait, what? Is our floor falling in? It was very strange. I hope that next time, they will let us through the invisible wall, and we will be able to get through these strange doors. Now let's wait for the next floor. Wow. This is some kind of blue location, and some speaker is telling us something. Oh my god, I think this is the ghost floor. I think we need to be careful. I wouldn't really want to go inside there. Yes, everything here looks really creepy. It's strange that some invisible wall is again preventing us from entering this floor. Well, I don't really want to listen to this speaker. He says some very mysterious, mystical nonsense. Let's just wait for the next floor. Wait, are we stuck in the ceiling? What is going on? Do you see how this elevator is shaking? Oh my god, it was quite strange. Well, I hope there won't be any bugs on the next floor. Okay, let's see what the next floor has in store for us. Wait, is there an option to use emotions here? Look, we can sit. Cool, let's walk the entire next floor while sitting. I think it will be very cool. I wonder what floor will be next. Okay, just look. Here, everything is blue again. It looks like some kind of platforms. Is this going to be a dance competition? This strange dog tells us that now we will compete in a dance. Okay, we were teleported to these platforms. And now we will need to choose the right color. Well, let's start the dance. But it seems to me that this song is not very suitable for a dance competition. Rather, it is suitable for some kind of anime opening or something like that. I really hope that we will be able to take some prizes. I think we dance very cool and manage to click on the right platforms. Wow, Jax! Where did you learn to dance so cool? It seems to me that in order to manage to click on different colored platforms in time, you need real skill. You have a very good reaction but I still think the guy doing it to our left does it a little better. Let's see what our result is. Well, no big deal. This was our first attempt. I think if we go to this floor again, we will definitely take a prize. Now let's move on. I think we should turn off this emotion and try to walk. Look what a convenient place I came up with for myself. Okay, okay, let's turn off the emotion and continue running. I wonder what test awaits us on the next floor. Wow, everything turned black and white. Wait, is it me, or is there a train coming in the distance? He's coming straight at us! Oh, I think I need to move to the wall! Wait, did he actually go through the elevator? Seriously? He made a hole in the walls of the elevator. 
I think this was the strangest floor we've seen today. Well, I hope that the next floor will be at least a little more understandable. Maybe we can get something interesting there. I mean, loot or something like that. Okay, it's a black hole! Wait, is it just me or is our viewing angle changing? I don't understand. Are we getting smaller or bigger or what's going on? Why is everything stretched out? It was fascinating, but very strange. Yes, I completely agree. This one is too mystical. Well, it's a pity that there was no loot here. Let's now move on to the next floor. Oh, just look. This guy has some funny emotions. I wonder how we can open them. I'd love to show off my muscles, too. Well, here's the next floor. Look, there are cows in very pleasant weather. They look pretty funny. But what to do with them? It's just some cow pasture. Uh, I think we need to sit on one of the cows. Wait, why is this guy standing right with this sheep? What is he doing? Okay. I think we'll just sit on this cow and enjoy the beautiful weather. I still have too many questions for this guy. Okay, that's over too. And now let's wait on the next floor. Everything has gotten so dark here. Who turned off the light? Oh no, looks like our elevator is broken. Well, it seems that we will have to wait until this elevator is repaired and we get out of here. Look, some kind of hole. Could this be a fire exit? But I think not. We just fell somewhere. Wait, did we fall into the elevator again? But where is the guy with the cool emotions? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just wait for the next floor. This floor is like a beach floor. Wait, I recognize this sound. Moto Moto, will he emerge from the water now? Damn, this is very cool. Just look at this muscular guy. Oh my God, is this really a Moto Moto noob? God, he has such a cool figure. I want to become as muscular as him. Okay, looks like he'll be riding in this elevator with us. Well, I really like it. And now let's move on to the next game. There's a Zubal and some digitized guy. Wait, did you fall? Really? But why did this happen? You were driving very slowly. Oh no, I think this guy is going to kill us now. Yes, I was right. We're going straight to Jax's mouth. Just look how fast we are moving towards the finish line. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will ride the cart again, but this time we will ride in my mouth. To be honest, I liked riding in Pomni's mouth more. Well, let's get in the cart and see what awaits us ahead. I hope that Jax remembers that here you definitely need to slow down before turns. Otherwise, we may fly off this track. I hope we can complete this route the first time. Oh, just look. There's a Zubal and some digitized guy. It's strange why he got to the surface. The last one to be digitized was Kaufmo, and we hit him in the basement. Yes, this is really very strange. But I'm very glad that I see myself in the second game in a row. I love it. I didn't think there would be so much attention to me. Just look. There at the end is the very Jax to which we are going. Well, I hope that this route will not cause us any difficulties. I think we're doing pretty well so far. The main thing is not to forget to slow down on all turns ahead. Otherwise, we will be eaten by the Glonic Queen. Did you really just call her the Glonic Queen? Okay, it doesn't matter. Look, they made a mini obstacle here. But I'm very attentive, and that's why I was able to overcome it. Just look how high this climb is. It seems to me that we will rise forever. Wait, did you fall? Really? But why did this happen? You were driving very slowly. It's good that we have a sword, and now we will defend ourselves from these guys. Wait, did he touch us? Oh no, we can now be digitized. Damn, we urgently need to find a way out of here. Oh no, I think this guy is going to kill us now. Yes, I was right. Well, let's try to start again. Maybe we can get to the very top on our second try. The main thing is to drive very slowly on the climb so that we don't fly off this road again. The main thing is not to rush. Jax is constantly in a hurry to get to the finish line, but because of this, he loses. Buddy, be as careful as possible and control your speed. This is your main task. Yes, it's very funny that the creators of this map added several small challenges in the middle of the race. We may accidentally miss them and fall down. I see Jax really trying this time and slowing down before every turn. Well done, Jax. I really want to finish this game today. I think we started going too slow. This speed is really slower than the speed of a turtle. I would like us to speed up a little, but unfortunately, I know that we can't do this because we could lose again. Guys, stop giving me different requests all the time. You either ask to increase the speed or reduce it. I don't know what I need to do anymore. The only thing I know is that I need to go up this climb as slowly as possible because last time I fell down it. I really hope that this time we won't fall off it. This is truly one of the most dangerous places in all of these roller coasters. The main thing is to keep the minimum speed and just go up. 
By the way, guys, there is one character among us who simply loves racing games and high speed. Now his shadow will appear on the screen and you try to pause and guess who it is. Well, guys, did you write your answer in the comments? Great! Well done! And now the correct answer will appear in three, two, one, and yes, you were right. This is a gangle. I just love racing games like Gran Turismo or Forza. The guys gave me a gaming steering wheel and pedals for my last birthday. And now I play these games all the time. I'm a huge fan of everything related to cars and speed. Great! We're finally at the top! I think that it's not worth increasing the speed yet because at any moment we can fall and we don't know if there are hidden obstacles from the developers here. The main thing now is not to accidentally lose sight of them. We're already about halfway there. I hope nothing happens now that will make us fall down. Otherwise I will be very angry. I really don't want to lose because we have come far enough. Look guys, just a little left. Here are the last climbs and look, there's a secret obstacle ahead again. Oh cool, there's also a miniature Jax waiting for us. He really looks a lot like Jax when he smiles. I've never seen Jax genuinely smile. Usually he smiles extremely maliciously and very unkindly. It's funny that here they decided to portray Jax as cheerful and not angry or sad. Stop talking bad about him. He really tries. By the way, look. All we have to do is drive along this straight line and we will be at the very finish. The main thing is not to forget to regulate the speed. Otherwise, we may end up at the bottom and be eaten by gloinks. I think you and I have a slightly different idea of straight lines. Perhaps you wanted to say that we will no longer have ups and downs here? Well, last time we played, our cart was hanging halfway over the abyss. This time we are going very smoothly, and I think nothing will stop us from reaching the finish line. Oh my god, just look! We are almost right at the finish line. We're going straight to Jax's mouth. Now there is an obby ahead of us. Let's get through it quickly. Just look. They gave us a speed spring. This means that now we can go through these buildings much faster. Jax, quickly take it, and let's run forward. Wow, just look how quickly we started moving forward. Why didn't we use this thing last time? We could go through this entire obby in seconds. Yes, just look how fast we are moving towards the finish line. But don't forget to be careful. Otherwise, we may end up at the very bottom. We are already at the very top. It happens so fast. I don't even have time to notice how quickly our progress bar is moving. Yes, I also really like how quickly we go through all these tests. I wonder if they changed the final task in this game or not? I think no, they left it the same. But I can't say it's bad, because I really like the boosts they give at the very end. Well, in any case, we will check it very soon. A spiral staircase awaits us ahead. I think you should be as careful as possible on it, because with one awkward movement, you can fly to the very bottom. Jax moves quite confidently, and now we are faced with a test in which we need to choose the right passages, but seriously? Did you just go ahead and win? I think this was the easiest task in this game. Well, great! We have reached the finish line. Just look! Yes, they haven't changed anything, but I think we'll sit on the Ferris wheel. Yes, this game was quite interesting. I liked her very much, and I liked even more that they chose me as the main character. Now we're on to the next game. I'm a real handsome guy here. How does it feel when you shoot by yourself? It's a little weird. Wow, this is really me. It's Pomni. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from our amazing digital circus. This looks like my bedroom. But wait, how do they know what my bedroom looks like? What's going on here anyway? Well, the standard start, as in all Barry Prison Run. Let's see how hard they worked on the design of this map. Wow, everything here is so colorful. I've never seen them make everything so colorful. I really like the beginning. Who do you think they made as the first boss? I would really like to see myself as the boss of one of the stages. Well, we have to find out now, but I really doubt that you were made one of the bosses, Kinger. You're right! Here comes the first boss! It's Pomni! I still don't lose hope that I will see myself in the place of one of the bosses of this mode. She has a very creepy and empty look, as if she just found out that she has no way out of this circus. Yes, I also remember her surprised expression on her face. Have you heard this scream? God, my voice isn't that rough. Why did they decide to choose this particular sound? This doesn't look like me at all. Well, otherwise, in general, this boss was very similar to you. By the way, did you notice that instead of bridges, a spiral staircase is used here? This is quite an interesting solution. 
I've never seen this before in modes similar to Barry's prison break. And now we will find ourselves in the toilet. Wow, it looks of course very cool, but it doesn't look like our toilet at all. We basically don't use the toilet at all. We are digital. We don't need to relieve ourselves. But they decided to make the dungeon in the style of the glowing queen's nest. This looks very cool. But the only thing missing here is the glowing queen herself. It would be great if we had to run away from her here. This would be a very cool innovation. Who knows? Maybe we'll see her next. But I really like the way the design has been changed here. Everything really looks very similar to our circus. What's that pink liquid down there? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Now we move on to the rolling boulder challenge, and unfortunately there is no Queen Gloink here either. Well, it's not a problem, because lately I've been so tired of her that I wouldn't even want to see her in games. I totally agree with you. I wouldn't really want to see her either because she could change our voices again. This really pisses me off. By the way, here is the staircase. Now we will find out who will be the next boss of this location. Everything indicates that it will be you, Zubal. Yes, that's how it is. Just look, you're really exactly the same here as in life. They made you look really similar. This boss has the same gloomy eyes as you. Wow, this is really me. Well, I'm very flattered that they decided to choose me as the boss knight. I'm very happy. I thought that they would choose anyone but not me. And it seems to me that I would be ideal for the role of the boss of a knight because I am a kinger, the king of knights. It seems to me that you can only be king of toy knights that you keep in your box and play with them. Then everyone goes to bed. Gangle, but I asked you not to talk about it. Well now, everyone will laugh and joke about this topic. Laugh as much as you want. My collection of knight figurines is worth $20,000. Really? These plastic Chinese men cost $20,000? Seriously? If I were you, I would think about buying us a new TV because I'm really tired of watching all our videos using my phone. By the way, guys, in addition to Kinger's strange hobby, there is another person in our circus with a strange collection. Just imagine, he collects plush elephants. Now you will see the shadow of this person on the screen and try to guess who it is. Pause the video and write your guesses in the comments. Well, have you already written? I hope that yes. And so the correct answer in three, two, one. That's right, it's Jax. Well, why did you tell everyone about this? Now everyone will laugh at this. When I was a child, I had a stuffed elephant whose name was Peter. I loved him very much. But one day, when I went to visit my grandmother, her dog secretly stole this elephant and tore this toy into small pieces. Since then, I really dislike dogs and collect stuffed elephants. But unfortunately, I have never seen one like Peter anywhere. I almost cried from this story, Jax. I didn't think that you were a person with such a refined soul. Well, I hope that someday you will definitely find exactly the same Peter as you had in childhood. Maybe you still have some photos? Yes! I only have one photo left, and this is the photo that helps me remember what he looks like. I've been trying to find the same stuffed elephant for many years, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to find anything. Well, okay. Let's not talk about sad moments and continue playing this game. We only have one valve left, and great, we did it! Well, let's move on now. In theory, a test awaits us next in which we will run through corridors with fans. Well, I really love this task because in it, the character develops enormous speed. By the way, yes. I completely forgot that this is the task ahead. Well, I'm sure that Jax will be able to pass it the first time because all he needs to do in this task is to press the jump button in time. It seems to me that the whole game here is to press the jump button at the right time. But nevertheless, this does not make her any less interesting and fun. In general, it seems to me that there are very few games like Barry's Prison Escape in Roblox. I'm practically not attracted to the other modes because there is nothing in them that would be interesting to me. Roblox has a huge number of interesting maps. There are cards based on anime and there are cards based on TV series. That's why I like Roblox, because you can create your own game based on what you love very much. Now we will get to the location with the next boss. I'm very interested in who will be the chef's boss here. Let's quickly go and find out. Look! There is something in the distance! I think this looks a lot like Jax! Yes, it's Jax! Oh my god, why is he so tall? You need to quickly run away from him! By the way, why are we now jumping so high? I think this happened because of a bug! When we jumped in the wind tunnel, the game didn't count our landing, and now it still thinks that we stayed there, and therefore didn't remove the super jump buff for us. 
Jack Jax! I've always dreamed of doing this. Great! We managed to kill him. Jax, how does it feel when you shoot by yourself? Do you like it? It's a little weird because I don't really look like the character they made. This Jax is very tall. I'm not that tall in real life. Although maybe I would like to be like that. No need! Let's stay the same height as you are now, because if you get taller, we'll have to make the doorways even higher. And we simply don't have the budget for this. At least for now. Is it just me, or are we sliding down this slide very slowly? Yes! We even fly slowly. Perhaps this is due to a bug that allows us to jump very high. By the way, thanks to this bug, we quickly climbed to the very top. We didn't have to climb the stairs. And now we will climb the wind tunnel with lasers. Just look, they even went to the trouble of changing the colors of these lasers. This is very cool. I really, really like the design of this game because here, the creators didn't just recolor the textures, but added a huge number of new models. It really changed the game for the better. And now we have a test with bridges. But I think we won't use the bridges because we have a super jump, which means we can just jump over these platforms and go straight to the final boss mission. I wonder who will be the final boss. Just look! It's Kane the robot! Wow. They really tried hard and changed all the bosses in this game. They even changed the location and made the walls look like a circus fence. By the way, it's very cool that we have the ability to jump very high. This means that we can shoot at Kane while jumping, and he will not hit us with his hand minigun. Yeah, I really, really like the way they changed my model. I'm a real handsome guy here. By the way, I'm done with one hand. We only have to shoot at the second one. Come on, Jax! Do it! You only have a few shots left to finish this boss. By the way, we managed to complete it in less than 550 seconds. I think this is definitely a new record. I really like this mode. The creators of this map really tried very hard to completely change all the bosses and the location. I'm sure we'll play this mode again someday. Now let's move on to the next game. Is this a car shaped like a big baby's head? Seriously? Looks like we'll have to fight off a huge crowd of kids who really want to kill us. Just look at this creepy face. What is it doing in this ventilation? Wait, did he fart? He fell. Just look. This kid is such a loser. Wait, what? No, not that. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will escape from Little Bobby's prison. Jax, I think you misspoke. It doesn't feel like a prison at all. It looks more like some kind of daycare. Yes, it seems to me that we just play too often in all sorts of modes in Roblox where you need to escape from somewhere and that's why we call them all prison. This is some kind of ventilation. Wait, what's the baby doing here? Okay, it doesn't matter. Now the main thing is to get away from here as soon as possible. We fell from the ventilation into some room. Oh my god, just look, this room is very huge. You need to pass all these tests. I wonder where they will take us. To be honest, I don't really understand why there are dangerous places like this in kindergarten. It seems to me that this is some kind of unusual kindergarten. Wait, an airplane? Do we really need to jump on a plane? This is already something similar to some kind of stunt tricks from cool films. Well, that was pretty easy. Jax, did you graduate from stuntman training? Okay, let's move on. I wonder what other interesting challenges this game has in store for us. No, I didn't even try. But I know who from our team definitely tried to be an actor in all sorts of extreme films. Guys, now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen, and you try to guess who it is. Pause this video and write in the comments about who can do it. And then turn on the video further and check if you answered correctly. Well, three, two, one. That's right, it's Kane. Yes, guys. I was even once called to star in cool films, but because I wanted to remain an entertainer in our wonderful circus, I abandoned this idea. I can't say that I regret it, but I had the opportunity. Kane, but you can fly! I think this ability is considered a cheat. Yes, you could definitely become a cool stuntman, but I think it would be uninteresting to watch how a flying guy copes with all sorts of difficulties. It doesn't matter at all! The main thing is that I have acting skills! Oh my god! Just look at this creepy face! What is it doing in this ventilation? I didn't expect to see this creepy face. I thought we were playing a walkthrough map and not a horror game. We fell into some room where children sleep. This baby snores very loudly. Just look at him. Wait, did he fart? He's so loud! He got up and is running after us! Oh my god! This baby looks very creepy! Wait! Why does he only have one eyebrow? It's too long and thick for a baby. He moves pretty fast. Perhaps he will be able to catch up with us. We need to do everything to prevent this from happening. I don't think it's a good idea to run away from him and face him. 
Don't worry, buddy. I'm a professional in this matter. I can run away from him even with my eyes closed. When is the end of this rise? It seems to me that this baby is getting closer and closer to us. I really hope that he won't be able to catch up with us because every time he gets closer and closer... Yes, it also seems to me that he can catch up with us soon. Look, and here comes the end. We need to press the button and jump into the ventilation. He fell. Just look, this kid is such a loser. Great. We were able to overtake him and now we are running away to another location. We're falling somewhere. Wait, what? No, not that. We're falling right into this baby's mouth. Oh my god. Did he eat us? Now we have to escape from it. Did we really fall right into this baby's mouth? God, this is just disgusting. Look, everything around is so green. Did he eat Lego pieces? It seems to me that this baby doesn't care what he eats. But why is everything green inside him? What does he eat? I think we'd better skip this question because we already play a lot of nasty games. To be honest, I don't even want to try to guess what these green things are. The main thing is that we need to jump over them and move on. What is this strange, spinning green thing? I don't even want to understand what it is and how it works. I find this quite strange, too. I think there's quite a lot of weird, nasty stuff in this guy's stomach. Look, this is a corridor with a huge rolling boulder, but this time it's green. Maybe these green things are his boogers or something else, but let's hope they're just big green candies. Why the hell are there lights or something in this guy's stomach? It seems to me that his body is better equipped than some apartments. I hope we don't see anything even weirder next. The only strange thing I can notice now is the Lego pieces again. I think this guy should definitely stop eating them because they can't be digested in the stomach. In addition to the Lego pieces, the bones are arranged in a very strange way. They are definitely not part of his skeleton. And why is there a spiral staircase around his spines? I have too many questions for this guy. Maybe he's a cyborg? Guys, I'm tired of repeating this, but I'll do it again, and maybe you'll remember it forever. This is Roblox, and there is no logic in it. Look, this guy has a conveyor belt in his stomach, and I'm not even surprised by it anymore. Okay, okay, you convinced me. I won't even be surprised that we now climbed up with the help of his farts or burps. But the fact that we now see Celery here surprises me a little, because this guy is definitely not a fan of healthy eating. There are four whole pieces of celery here. Do we really have to wear them and come back for them every time? I think we can be a lot smarter and use just three of them. Wow, is this some kind of speedrunning trick? I'm very surprised at how your logic works. This is great. Well now, let's go back for the third piece of celery and try to get through this map without using the fourth. I'm very interested in how we will do this. In fact, everything is very simple. There is not such a long distance here that you need to use celery and put a bridge. Here you can just jump over and... Great. We reached some hole. I hope this is not the hole I thought about. Well look, there's a speed run here. It's a lot like the energy drink speed run like in Barry's Prison Break. Well, I really like this part of the game because here your character develops enormous speed. Yes, this is really very cool. I really like high speed in games. By the way, guys, recently I was in a toy store and saw this doll. She reminded me a lot of someone from my friends, but I couldn't remember who. Who does this doll remind you of? Write about it in the comments. This location is very big. Just look, now a boss fight awaits us. Looks like we'll have to fight off a huge crowd of kids who really want to kill us. We'll have to do it with a celery cannon. There are so many of them. And besides ordinary babies, there are also red babies who jump. They are very hard to aim and very hard to hit. We need to be very careful and kill them first so that they don't get to us. We have already defeated almost half of the kids. Push Jax, just a little left. I hope we won't die in this test because we beat this game very well without dying even once. I'm sure Jax will succeed. He's a professional shooter. Just remember how he managed to hit all targets in Minecraft with a bow and trident. Only a few babies left. Great, Jax, you did it! Well, this game was quite interesting. There were a lot of different challenges, but it was also full of all sorts of nasty things. Nasty things? Seriously? Do fans of the game Help Me Tricky Puzzle have any things that they consider disgusting? Is this a car shaped like a big baby's head? Seriously? This looks really weird. I thought they would give us some cool car like a Porsche or Ferrari. For these cars, you need to play Gran Turismo or something. Well, great! We beat this game! She was really very interesting. And now we're moving on to the next game. Zubal, would you happen to remind me what color your head is? Are you f***ing serious asking this question now? 
Look, our next option is with a clown. I think the correct option would be Jax. Jax is really a clown. I definitely don't look so weird. Wait, did you really say that I look strange? No, I meant that. Um, yes, okay. Hello, everyone, dear friends, and today we will find out how well we know the truth about ourselves. Seriously, quiz about us? Who even thought of making a video about this? We know ourselves better than anyone. Well, let's start with the easiest questions. I think it doesn't take a genius to guess which one of them is the Kingler. Hmm, which one am I? Let's think about it. Surely this will be the right option. I haven't seen Kofmo for so long that I forgot what he looks like. Well, I know that this is Kane, so this definitely must be Kofmo. I think you don't need to be a genius to guess the right option. Look, this type of Kofmo is already more familiar to me. Well, let's choose the right option. I don't think you should choose the right option. I definitely don't look so weird. Wait, did you really say that I look strange? No, I meant that. Um, yes, okay. I said you look weird, but you're just a huge flying jaw with eyes. Stop swearing. The previous test was quite easy. Now let's choose something more difficult. The first question was pretty easy. Now let's choose which of these am I. The right option is definitely wrong. Kane doesn't even play with dolls, so I think we need to choose a jaw. Well, this was the right option. Wait, two options? Triangle and bubble? I think the right option suits the bubble better. Let's choose the left option. But here we need to choose the right option, because Kofmo has always been a clown. Well, that was the right answer. Now let's choose the option that suits Regatta. This is definitely not an option with masks, so we will choose the option with a doll. It is very easy. We definitely shouldn't choose the rabbit option because I'm not Jax. Okay, now we need to choose which one is more like Jax, and we already know the answer from the previous question. This quiz was also very easy. I wonder if there will be anything more complicated here. So far we are coping with everything very easily. Maybe there will be a question here about what color are my panties. It seems to me that you definitely don't know the answer to this question. To be honest, I don't even want to know the answer to this question. Let's take this quiz. Here, you need to solve puzzles. Well, on the first question, you need to understand what happens if you combine a crown and a chess piece. I think it's obvious that this is Kinger. Why are there no buttons here? I have to write everything by hand. Well, triangle and crab? I don't even know who it could be. Are you seriously? I'm just sure that the right option is Zubel. Jax, why are you taking so long to type? It shouldn't be that difficult. You also spelled her name wrong. Why did you add that sign at the end? Guys, he left the computer for a while. I sat down to play. Look, our next option is with a clown. I think the correct option would be Jax. Yes, I completely agree with you. Jax is really a clown. But unfortunately, the correct answer is Kofmo. Because Kofmo is a clown in reality. Guys, I'm back. Wait, did you really think it was me? Haha, <laughs> very funny joke. But here you don't need to be a genius to answer correctly. The correct answer is, it's me, Gangle. Wait, why is everything answered correctly here already? Well, okay, we already know that the correct answer is Jax. Wait, what should I answer here? And our subscribers should answer this question. Guys, write in the comments which character is encrypted in this puzzle. We look forward to your answers and we will definitely like the correct answers. Well, did you leave a comment? Great, and now we move on to the next quiz. But this is already interesting. Here we need to choose the right photo. Let's run after this guy. I can't understand how these photos are different. I think they only differ in the color of the shoes. Well, let's trust our intuition and go to the left answer. We haven't made a single mistake so far. Well, here it seems to me that the left answer will also be correct. It seems to me that the color of Jax's overalls has never been Nishin or orange. Pink would be the correct answer. What color is the bubble usually reflected in? It seems to me that it's definitely not blue or pink. I think we need to choose the option in the middle. Great! He was right! Now we need to guess the color of the Gangle's tears. Obviously, they should be blue. I think gold and red tears look too silly. Well, let's choose the right option. Great! We've moved on. Um, Zubal, would you happen to remind me what color your head is? Are you f***ing serious asking this question now? Let's pretend that I didn't hear him. Well, you need to choose the right cane eyes. The side options look too unrealistic. But in the middle is the best. Great, he was faithful. A green dress? It looks simply terrible. Basically the same as pink. But purple suits Regatta best. Great, we passed this quiz. Now let's move on to the next one. Gloves. How can they even relate to our cartoon? Hmm, which quiz should we choose? I think that a quiz with minor characters would be the best option. 
it will actually be a little more difficult. This quiz is already for real fans of our cartoon. I think everyone knows that the correct answer is gloinks or a gloink. These are the most annoying characters in our cartoon. Great, we guessed right. Here the correct answer is the sun. I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that the sun and moon are depicted here. Why are these questions even here? Perhaps because we haven't shown many minor characters yet? Oh my god, it's the Gloink Queen! I don't want her to appear in our videos anymore. After it, I constantly have to get used to my real voice again. This quest was too easy too. Guys, let's choose something really hardcore. I want to answer some tough questions. Let's choose the coolest quiz. I think the quiz with eyes will be boring, just like the quiz with posters. Oh, this already looks interesting. Guess the character by the drawing of his person. I think it's obvious that a regatta is depicted here. By the way, this drawing looks very cool. Yes! I would also like someone to draw me in the same style. Look, who is this? I think this girl is very similar to Pomni. <sighs> Let's find out whether we are right or wrong. Great, this was the correct answer and we move on to the next drawing. Who could it be? This is very similar to Kinger. I also recognized him by the image of a cross that looks like a cross on his head. Well, Let's check if we are right or wrong. And we guessed right again. Great! Well, this picture is already very light. This girl looks like Zubel because I see a triangle sticking out of her pocket. Yes, I also think that this is very similar to me. Cool! We guessed right. Hmm. Now this is a really complex picture. Maybe a uh, regatta is depicted here? I really can't understand who they were trying to portray here. Well, I think it's worth trying the regatta version. This is the wrong answer. Well, guys, this is where your help is really needed. Write in the comments. Who do you think is shown in this picture? Guys, it depends on your answer whether we will progress further in this game or not. Well, thanks for the correct answers. So let's move on. Look, this is the last picture. I think it's obvious that this guy is Jax because he has a bag of chips in his hand. He constantly throws these chips all over the circus. Great! We beat this game. This game was quite fun and interesting. I hope that you answered with us and that you answered all the questions correctly. If you like the way we answer these quizzes, be sure to like this video and write about it in the comments, and we move on to the next game. I think she looks pretty creepy. She watches our every move. Sorry, am I disturbing you too much? Oh no, I think you fell. Hey buddy, maybe I can help you a little? I'm ready to add a little rainbow here. I think we added too much rainbow and he fell down. Oops, looks like you fell. Hello everyone, dear friends, and today we will play Pomni Zobby with you. Oh my god, just look at this location. She is so huge. I'm wondering how quickly we can get through it. So far we are still in the first stage and this game does not look difficult. I think we can complete it faster than anyone else. I wonder what awaits us at the end. It's very cool that they made a whole game for me. Just look how beautiful everything is here. They even made a statue of me on the left. She looks really cool. I think she looks pretty creepy. She watches our every move. It's pretty creepy. Do you see how creepy her look is? Those wide eyes look like she's afraid of us. My friend, I think you shouldn't have repeated the word creepy so many times. We all understood that you were scared. I don't think this statue looks creepy. She looks really cute, and she really does look a lot like Pomni. The main thing is that she doesn't start shooting lasers at us from her eyes or something like that. I wouldn't want her to stop us from going through this obby. We have already passed eight stages, and now we will find ourselves on the ninth. I wonder how many stages there are in total. Judging by the progress bar, there may be about 100 of these stages. Just look at this funny stretched face of our friend. Hey, Pomni. Do you like the way you are portrayed here? I think this looks very funny. Stop judging the creators of this map, Jax! They simply couldn't find a suitable photo of my face on the internet that could be stretched out like that. Anyway, I like what they did. This flatters me very much. Yes, I agree with her. It's a shame that no one made a map like this for me. I would really like to complete a map called Regatta Obby. I think that would be pretty cool. What about me? Just imagine how cool a map would look in which you have to go through a huge, difficult obby and then also jump into my mouth. I think this would be the best map in all of Roblox. Well, now we have a cool trail that comes straight from our back. It would be great if it speeded us up a little, but I don't think it works that way. Either way, at least it looks cool. Well, now let's run forward. We are still only at the 17th stage. We need to speed up a little in order to reach the finish line as quickly as possible. I completely agree with Zubel. 
There are still a huge number of tests ahead of us, but so far all the tests we are going through are very easy. We just almost fell. Well, now let's be more careful. Oh, just look. A task awaits us in which we need to guess the right path. I hope we can do it the first time. Uh, oh my god, I'm really pro at this game. Have you seen? I passed it the first time. I don't think anyone has managed to do this yet. I think it's time for me to take the superpower test. It seems to me that the only superpower that this test can reveal in you is super annoying and super stupid. You're a real pro at this. And in a task in which you need to guess the right path, you are simply lucky. Let's see how you perform on the next similar task. Come on, you don't even let me enjoy small victories. Well, okay, I agree. Let's see what happens on the next similar task where only luck rules. Even I was interested to see what would happen when Jax had to choose the right path next time. I hope that such a task will still be in this obby. Otherwise, we will never know who was really right. We've already gone through as many as 27 stages and that's only a quarter of this game. This obby is really very long. It seems to me that its creator did a really great job on it because there are a huge number of different tasks. Of course they are light, but nevertheless they are very interesting. I completely agree with you. I didn't think that any of my fans would be able to take the game he would create for me so seriously. I'm very pleased with this. Thank you very much to my beloved fans for creating games like this. I hope that someday they will create similar games for all of us and we will all go through them on our channel. The main thing is that it's not Jax who does it. I would like to complete the game about me myself. I really like the color scheme of this game. It's made in Pomni's colors. It really stands out. It seems to me that the creator of this game is truly a genius. Look, is it just me? Or is there a task ahead in which you need to guess the right path? Well, let's see how Jax handles this. With the first stick he guessed right, but with the second, unfortunately, failure. Well, Jax, you still want to try the superpower test in. Calm down. Sometimes people make mistakes. But I was able to guess the correct path the second time. I think this is also worthy of respect. Well, I hope that I will no longer have to deal with such tasks because you pay too much attention to them. But I just hope that it will be the other way around so that we can see how you screw it up. Look, there is another task like this ahead. Now we will see how well your intuition works. I think the first one should be yellow. Okay, you decided to do the opposite and you were right. Well done, Jax. But this time you guessed wrong. It's good that the wrong paths don't kill us. They simply don't let us forward. It would be difficult to remember the entire correct route, wouldn't it? It remains to choose the last correct path, and I think that the correct one will be blue. But no, I was wrong. Okay, no big deal. In any case, we didn't spend much time in this test, and now we can move forward. By the way, we have already completed 43 stages, and that's more than half of this entire game. Who said that there are about 100 tasks here? I think this is a misconception. I just now started to notice that a large number of tests are sometimes repeated. It's very sad that the creators of this map didn't have enough imagination to make each of these tasks unique, but it seems to me that it would be very difficult. Therefore, there is nothing wrong with that. The game is quite interesting without it. I think you're expecting too much from this game. Buddy, it's just Obby. Here you just need to pass the tests. It seems to me that if new tasks were added here, it would be absolutely not in the style of Obby. So in any case, everything that has been done here looks very beautiful and cool. And it seems to me that nothing else needs to be added to this game. Huge statue of Pomni is getting closer and closer to us. I'm looking forward to when we reach the finish line of this game and find out what we will get for completely completing this obby. It would be great if there was a leaderboard here. It seems to me that we could definitely be on the list of record holders for this game. I really doubt it because in this game you can donate Robux to get various boosts. And it seems to me that there was definitely someone who had already donated Robux to this mode and completed the entire game using an airplane carpet or something like that. I think it's a little unfair when boosts can get you on the leaderboard. I think that we need to make two separate leaderboards in one of which there will be players who completed this map without using boosts, and in the second there will be those who donated to this game. It would be much fairer and more interesting. I think you're right! It would really be much more correct and honest. By the way, look, we are almost at the 60th stage. We have very little left. It seems to me that there are only 80 stages in this game, and I hope that we will be able to complete it as quickly as possible. 
I'm still very interested in what awaits us at the end of this game. It would be great if at the end of this game you would give us various boosts with which we can fly around the entire OBI and prevent other players from passing it. That would be really cool. And we could make these players hardcore in this game. But in fact, I'm glad that no one stopped us from playing this game, and we completed it very quickly. There are only a few tests left to go through, and we will go straight to the Pomni's mouth. Great! And here's the last one. We are already at the finish line. Just look at her funny face. Why is she so sad? I think she's not very happy that she has to eat little Roblox players. Well, it's good that we managed to beat this game. Now, let's climb this spiral staircase to the secret room where our prize awaits us. And here is the staircase to the top. Well, now we will find out what really awaits us. Oh, just look. This room is full of boosts. Do you know what this means? This means that now we are going to stop little players from completing this game to the end with the help of this magic carpet. Cool. I am very happy about it. And here is our first victim. Hey, buddy, do you really want to beat this game? Well, then you will have to try, little, because I am here to stop you. Sorry. Am I disturbing you too much? Oh, no. I think you fell. What? Here comes another player. Hey, buddy, maybe I can help you a little? I'm ready to add a little rainbow here. Maybe she will speed you up. I think we added too much rainbow and he fell down. Well, let's now stop the third person from completing this obby to the end. Buddy, look. Looks like it rained recently and the sun came out. Now there's a rainbow all around. I hope she doesn't bother you too much. It seems to me that it will be very difficult for you to jump over these balls if someone interferes with you, right? Oops, looks like you fell. Well, let's move on to the next game. Um, bro, are you serious? Maybe you should increase your speed a little. Buddy, maybe you will finally press the speed up button and we will go up as soon as possible. I would really like to take revenge on this guy and throw him down. Look, we managed to throw this guy down. Ha ha! You got yours, noob! Now try to get to the finish line on foot. This is the same exit room that Pomni was talking about. Guys, this is absolutely- These are digital hallucinations! Is this the Gloink Queen? Why didn't I notice her last time? She looks pretty creepy. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play with you again in Lifting Carts. Last time I really liked this game. Even though it's quite simple, it's a lot of fun. Well, let's quickly choose a cart in which we will go upstairs and go straight to the Pomni's mouth. It's very strange that in this game I have to eat all the carts that are sent here. I would like the carts to come to my palm. I would take them to the obby test. It would be much more humane. We've already talked about this a million times. This is Roblox. There is no logic in it. You may not be surprised by what's happening here. In general, the strangest thing here is that they added a railway to our circus. We don't have a railway. Is this the Gloink Queen? Why didn't I notice her last time? She looks pretty creepy. It's strange that she is on the first floor of our circus and not in her nest underground. It usually hardly comes to the surface. Maybe the creators of this map didn't watch the pilot episode of our series. Okay, it doesn't matter. Look, there's some kind of cart ahead. She drives very slowly. It seems to me that the person sitting in this cart will slow us down very much. Um, bro, are you serious? Maybe you should increase your speed a little. We'll be driving like this until tomorrow evening. It looks like this will go on forever. Lord, there are still a huge number of floors. Will we really be driving at such a low speed all this time? Buddy, maybe you will finally press the speed up button and we will go up as soon as possible. It really takes forever! Wait, what? Oh my god! Because of this idiot, now half of our cart is hanging over the abyss! I hope we don't fall down because he decided to drive very slowly. I would really like to take revenge on this guy and throw him down! I hope so, too. This guy is really an idiot because he drives very slowly. Imagine what would happen if there were a few more carts behind us. Everyone had to arrive slowly just because of this guy. I think we definitely need to teach him a lesson. The saddest thing is that this stupid guy chose my skin. I'm very ashamed that such idiots play as my character in this game. I think he needs to use the Kingler skin. His playstyle suits this character better. You are very mistaken. Actually, I really like high speed, and in this game I would increase the speed as much as possible in order to complete this game as quickly as possible. This is a very dangerous turn and we could fall now. No, look, we managed to throw this guy down. Ha ha! You got yours, noob! Now try to get to the finish line on foot and we can finally increase the speed and get to the finish line faster than anyone else. 
It finally happened! I'm really glad this guy has to go through it all over again. I hope he won't interfere with any of the other players and won't drive at such a low speed, but will learn his lesson and increase it to go through this railroad faster. It's great that we managed to throw this guy down, but we still have one problem. Our cart is still half hanging over the abyss and we can fall at any minute. I think we need to regulate the speed very competently to prevent this from happening. I really hope this doesn't happen. Oh no, we're stuck. We need to drive back a little and then add speed and rush forward with all our strength in order to pass this place at high speed. Well, let's try to do this. First, we need to drive back in order to gain acceleration. Great! We were able to do it. I hope that there will be no more such obstacles on our way. At least we just have to go this straight path without climbing. I really hope that nothing else can stop us and we can get to the end. The main thing is not to forget to reduce the speed of the cart when turning. Otherwise, we may fly down at high speed. Don't forget that half of our cart hangs over the abyss, so we have no chance for mistake. Only a few left! This railway is not so difficult because there are no climbs. Of all the difficulties, the only thing left is the turns where we need to remember to adjust the speed. By the way, have you seen how this cart works? At the bottom of this cart, there are two pins that fix it between the rails. And because we jumped out, now these two pins wrap around the rail. It's interesting. It would be great if we could... Wait. Are we stuck again? Why is this obstacle located right at the turn? It is very dangerous to gain high speed here. Well, let's use the same method to overcome this obstacle. To do this, we first need to drive back and then pick up more speed and go forward. I hope that we will not fly off this railway into the abyss. Great! We managed to do it. It was very scary, but I'm glad we were able to do it. There's only a small part of the way left to get to the end. Just a few turns separate us from the finish line. It will be a shame if we fall down right next to her mouth. By the way, look. This is the same exit room that Pomni was talking about. Maybe she wasn't lying to us when she said she saw her. It is very strange. I need to find out what's behind that door. Guys, this is absolutely- These are digital hallucinations! Do not succumb to digital hallucinations! Otherwise, you will be taken away by your nest of Gloinks, and you will be eaten by the Queen of Gloinks, and turn into Gloinks! It seems to me that you repeated the word Gloinks too little. Perhaps this is why we are stuck in one place. It's good that we managed to overcome this obstacle, and now we are at the finish line. All we have to do is climb this railway, and we will pass this test with the cart! Every time we go up, this cart starts to wobble very terribly. I hope that nothing bad will happen and we will rise to the top without falling down. Great! We did it! Well, I'm very glad that we were able to do it again the first time. Now we need to pass this easiest obby and we will have the opportunity to take advantage of all the boosts of this game. This is a very cool gift, I think. This obby is really very light. It feels like it was made specifically for children who don't yet know how to pass the cool, super difficult obbies. Well, I think we can do it very quickly. I'm looking forward to when we reach the finish line and get the opportunity to use boosts. It would be really cool if we could use boosts in the place where everyone is trying to ride carts. We could interfere with everyone who is trying to complete this game. That would be a lot of fun. I would push everyone down at the very finish line so that they would have to go through the whole difficult path again. You are a real sadist, Kingler. I think this is too cruel. Just imagine if at this moment some little child is playing this game who really wants to complete this game to the end, and then at one moment some adult begins to prevent him from doing this. I think this is too cruel. But I think it's very funny. Just imagine how funny this child will scream and swear. You guys are both too cruel. By the way, Jax, look, this is your little copy. He looks exactly like you, but very small. Okay, let's take a selfie for memory. Let's choose a suitable angle and move on. Well, now I have a photo of myself. This is very cool. There is nothing complicated about this obby. I just move forward and that's it. They really should spice up this obby a bit. Yes! I think it would be great if they increased the distance between the platforms a little. It would actually make this game a little harder. Or it would be even more difficult if they did. So after death, you go back to the very beginning, where you have to get into the cart. Then this game would be really hardcore! It would also be very cool if they added some moving platforms or platforms that need to be activated using buttons. This would really make the game much cooler than it actually is. Wait, Jax! 
Just don't tell me that all this time we had boosts in our inventory in the form of an accelerating spiral and a regatta doll. Seriously? Didn't we notice this? We could go through this map much faster with the help of this spiral. But now we know that we have it. But I wouldn't use it on this spiral rainbow staircase because because of this spiral we can fall from it if we take one careless step. So it's better to go upstairs in the usual way. Yes, I also think that it would be a very smart decision if we don't use a spiral when climbing up. The main thing is to hold the regatta doll in your hands. We will consider this to be our talisman. I remember that first. We need to go into the red arch, then into the yellow one, then again into the yellow one, after that again into the yellow one, and the last one is red, and then we will definitely pass. While you were telling all this, we have already completed all these arcs, and now we have a few final tests left. I think after we jump over all these platforms, we can use the spiral to get to the finish line faster. It was very easy. We completed this game to the end. Now let's move on to the next game. And here comes the fire duck! Now we have a fire duck that quacks. This bro is really waiting for us to come out to attack us. This guy is too stupid. I think we moved quite far away so that he wouldn't kill us. Oh. Hello, Mr. Pumpkinhead. What floor are you going to? Hooray! We made it! We received some kind of award. It looks like some kind of winner's cup! It's called a trophy! Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will play Roblox Strange Elevator again. Little cute cow? What is she doing on this floor? I wonder if we should be afraid of her or not. I can't imagine how anyone could be afraid of such a small cow. Just look at her! Wait, what? Why did she turn into this? I think we need to step aside. Looks like we didn't make it in time. Well, this floor turned out to be not the most successful for us. Let's try again. I hope this will be an interesting floor. What is this? Completely dark room? They found some eggs there in the distance. We won't have time to pick them up. Well, okay. Looks like that's all there was on this floor. I think we can move on to the next one. I hope there will be something interesting on this floor. It's TV Man. I think we need to hide from him somewhere in this location. I wonder if there is any interesting loot here that we can take with us. It seems to me that we won't find anything interesting here because this location is very empty. Well, let's just hide from him so that he definitely doesn't kill us. Just look how big this location is! Great! We teleported back into the elevator! Well, let's move on to the next floor. We haven't come across a single interesting floor in this game yet. It looks like some kind of baseball field or something. Okay, just look. We have weapons. It seems to me that now we need to shoot at everyone who is here and defeat them. We need to be alone in this game. You killed that guy and that girl standing there? Great! Well done! All that remains is to kill all those who are in the elevator, and then we will definitely be left alone in this game. It seems to me that our shells don't reach there. Oh wait, someone killed them. Look, who is this? We need to kill her. And that guy who stayed inside the elevator too. Great, we're left alone. We beat all these guys. It was pretty easy to win. I hope that this gun will remain with us in the future. I would really like for us to have such cool, deadly weapons in this game. It could defeat many enemies that would come our way. This location looks like the surface of some planet. Meteorites begin to fall from the sky. We need to find a safe place where not a single meteorite will fall on us. How did we even get into space on the elevator? I don't understand it a bit. But every time I remember that there is no logic in Roblox and I stop asking this question. How long it will be going on? Great! It's finally over and now we're heading to the next floor. I hope the next floor will be less pointless than this one. Red tunnel? Look! Who is this? It's Pennywise? Buddy, I think you went a little in the wrong direction. Maybe he's hiding in this corner and thinks we didn't notice him. This bro is really waiting for us to come out to attack us. This guy is too stupid. Let's try to get out a little. Maybe he is aggressive towards us? No, that didn't happen. Well, this floor was just as pointless as the previous one. Let's go to the next one. We're on the next floor. It looks like some kind of room. Look, this is a funny caracol. Is this his room? She looks like this is the house from Weird Strict Dad. He has a pretty cool room. I like her very much. Wait, does he kill everyone who is in the elevator? We definitely can't get back into the elevator, otherwise he'll kill us along with everyone else. Oh no, the game teleported us back and this bro stayed here. Did he really kill us? This is the worst bug in this game. Why would this guy even run inside the elevator? Well, I hope there won't be such bugs on the next floor. Just look. On this floor, ducks are falling from the sky. 
They wrote to us in the comments under the last video that we need to look for the fire duck and it will remain in our inventory. Well, let's keep a close eye on all the ducks that will fall down. We definitely need to take the fire duck with us. And here comes the fire duck. No one noticed her and we took her first. Cool. Now we have a fire duck that quacks. I think this is the best reward that could ever be picked up. 